Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a little daily read. For anyone who stumbles across this, just take it how it resonates best for you. If it doesn't, just leave it behind for someone else. So I'm going to grab some overall energies here. What's cooking for the collective? Ooh. Ooh, someone's taking, there's some kind of action here. Someone's about to take some action, and we have relaxation. <laughs> okay. There may be, you know, this is often, I mean, it's action, but maybe a little drama or something here. But I do see some sort of relaxation, kind of calming down, uh, just chilling out. But it could be someone wanting to take some kind of action here. Yeah, someone's ready to take a risk. You got a person taking a risk. So it, it could be a vacation, a trip, something like that interesting the way that comes out so let's see what's going on here what does the collective need to know this is a love reading and we have eight of cups yeah someone's left something behind okay and this is the person who's now looking into the future someone's going to take action they want to communicate yeah very nice yeah knight of cups you got someone here ready to communicate so this is often just someone asking someone out. It's a person who's just kind of exploring their feelings. It's someone who's left something behind, but they're searching for something. It, see, it was a situation that wasn't emotionally fulfilling. Yeah, Knight of Wands. This is someone ready to take action. Feeling enthusiastic here. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. What else does the collective need to know? Yeah, Two of Cups. And we have, yeah, so something has ended. A painful period in someone's life is over. Someone's left a situation behind. This is someone who's ready to date again to court, and they're ready for action. They're feeling really enthusiastic, really enthusiastic. Wow. Now, some of you, you have a situation that may have ended. You may be just kind of chilling out, clearing your head, okay, because I do see two where someone's being left behind, so... But you, it, like I say, it could be yourself or this person, but it's a painful period in someone's life is over. And I do feel there's going to be some kind of talk communication. It's a soulmate connection here. Wow. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, cycle ending, a whole new cycle. Beautiful. This is what you want. It has to do with the timing. Okay. So the this is where the timing is right here. But I do see just chilling out, relaxing, things being very calm. See, after a painful ending. So this is nice. That means this is this period in someone's life is over. There it is, communication. Somebody wants to communicate. They're taking action. They're going to take a risk. This is someone who, you know, has been gathering up some info. They have all the tools. They have everything they need. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. So, yeah, there's been some heartache, definitely. But you can see love taking action. This is someone who knows there's always a risk. There could be some hurt or heartache. And you can see, I feel like you've got a person who's just ready to ask someone out here. Yeah, a knight of swords. This person's in a hurry. So you can see this is someone who's uh, taking that action. They're in a hurry. They feel like they need to hurry up, but they also see the risk that there could be some hurt. So, and it could be someone who's just gone through this, but it's an energy of someone who's moving away from that energy. They're in a hurry. You can see all this night energy. Wow. Eight of Cups. Why is this here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah. So somebody's left something behind. Thanks, but no thanks. Not interested. Yeah. See, this is the cup. This is, and it could be someone who feels they missed an opportunity. Okay, but it's someone who's left something behind. I feel like you got an opportunity coming in. Oh my goodness. Let's have a look at the Knight of Cups. Whoops. Knight of Cups. Yeah, there it is. Confirmation. Some of you could have two people. I have to be honest, there could be uh, several people here. You may get a couple people communicating. But one of these people, I feel it's thanks, but no thanks, not interested because you have another opportunity. Or it's this person doing it. Let's have a look at the Knight of Swords. Yeah, so it's an energy of justice and balance fair. It's an energy of someone coming in right. So it has to do with someone who's left a relationship behind, with someone who wasn't right for them possibly, but it's an energy of balance being restored. There's some kind of harmony here. It's a person taking action. This is an action-oriented person. Very charming, enthusiastic. They're ready to, they're ready to move here. Wow. Wow. 
Yeah, see, this is someone fantasizing, romanticizing, looking at all the possibilities here. Some of you have several options. You got several people, okay? So it's an energy of justice, whether someone's right for you or not, okay? I mean, it is possible someone may have ignored you or um, at some point here, and they could be coming back around, but I really feel it's more like this is a person who's just been searching. And there, there is some... Um, something to do with this special connection here this is two people going to talk and communicate you're manifesting each other kind of behind the scenes but like i say it's just someone who's left something behind um, maybe a, a divorce or something's happened here but it's a person who's definitely feeling more enthusiastic yeah someone's being a little cautious a little careful playing it safe yeah See, you're, gonna, you're about to get something you want. You're about to get something you want here. You're going to get that cup filled. So if you've had someone else reject you or ignore you, have no fear. you got someone else coming in. But I feel like it's this person moving away. Yeah, you've got a person who's rising like the phoenix from the ashes. Painful period in their life is over. It's finished. Look at that, a new romantic cycle. But this is somebody just kind of going with the flow. They're kind of chill. But underneath that energy, what they're keeping to themselves is this enthusiasm. But they're coming in right. So... Yeah, and it looks like the right time, too. The timing is right. The timing's now. They need to hurry up. This is a person who needs to hurry. Yeah, there's a spark, a passion, a new beginning. Now, this could be someone who's been holding a bit of a torch for a while, too, because they've gone through some kind of ending. But you can see this is an energy of being fulfilled. But I'm going to tell you, if you have left something behind and it's over, you've healed from a situation, you're just chilling, doing your own thing, Okay, there's somebody here you're probably going to not be interested in. So it's an energy of indulging, not in, there's someone here you're not going to indulge, you're not going to deal with them, because I feel like you have other options. I, I feel like there's two, but in the event that you're sure you know who this is, there's a, a spark, an attraction, I feel the timing is right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, you got somebody here in their feelings, emotions. Someone's feeling a pretty a lot of deep emotions. This is someone who's kept their feelings to themselves. But I feel this is someone who can't anymore because they feel they need to hurry up. Oh, my goodness. Let's have a look at the magician. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, this is someone who's very curious. But there's a need for clarity. See, some this is someone clearing things up, clearing things out of their past. But they're gathering info. This is someone who wants to communicate. So there's been some heartache. Now, there could have been a third party. Some of you may have dealt with someone who had other options and they just rush in looking for action. That's likely what you won't indulge in. Or it's this person no longer indulging in that. But it has to do with the Page of Swords, clarity, curiosity. Yeah, so someone's just very curious. I, I feel they're going to take a risk. They know there's a risk. Yeah, but you might you might actually have other people. That's what because I feel this is someone who feels you might have options, but they're coming in to fight for this. Oh yeah, this is something worth going after, worth fighting for. High priestess, someone trusting their intuition, their inner knowing. There's a lot of things this person does know and doesn't know. So this could be someone that you you know had dealt with in the past, but it's about clarity. It's about. Um, it's the way someone communicates or it's, this is someone going to be careful choosing their words wisely yeah if you've dealt with somebody who put you in a third party you will not indulge that person because it looks like somebody here wants you know or they're secretive or they and that's where i feel this is likely i feel and it could be this person who dealt with that too okay but this is someone who who likely won't tell you if if they've been hurt but it's a person who's taking risks so, like I say, if there's two, one of these people comes with a risk that you could be hurt or a third party. So just watch that. Yeah. But look, you got someone who's high vibrational positive. Yeah, you got something new here. Looks like something new, but very high vibrational, very positive. They're coming in. They've, this is someone who's been thinking things through, choosing their battles, choosing their words wisely. So this is a person who wants to communicate. So you can see they're leveling up, too. Knight of Swords. Very nice. They're going to go for this. This person's a risk taker. <laughs> but whatever happened with them or with yourself. See, one of you's had a painful landing. It's finished, though. That's what I like. This cycle's over. Yeah. 
Tell me about the moon. Yeah, see, this is someone's soul searching. Like I say, looking for clues and answers. Uh, they're going down this path. It has to do with choosing the one. This could be somebody having that moment where like, you know, this was the person that I really liked all the time. You know, they're kind of spending time alone, chilling out. They're definitely, I feel, an energy of just, you know, just kind of going with the flow. But there's things this person doesn't know about you that they want to know. So whether you've dealt with them or not, there's things they want to know. This is something worth going after. See, they're choosing their battles. They're choosing to go after this, and they know there's a risk. Yeah, see, it has to do with partnering up stability, uh, safety, security. Mm -hmm. Now, it looks like a place. There's some kind of place. The timing is right. Being in the right place, the right time. They're looking at this because this is someone who's thinking about the path they've been on, where they've been, maybe people they've dated, things that have happened. But they're definitely a person who's really deeply in touch with their feelings here with that moon. They're going deep, very deep feelings. Yeah, this is somebody who probably will, they'll likely never tell you that right away. Look at that. They want to connect. This is the right place, the right time. This person's going to take a risk. So this is somebody who I feel has probably been kind of uh, waiting a little bit for the right time to talk to you, to approach you. But there's a spark. There's an interest there. Oh, yeah, they can't stop thinking about you. Look at that, the Wheel of Fortune. But some of you do have someone who could try to come back around here. That's the one I feel you won't indulge in. It's going to be a thanks, but no thanks. Why? Because you have another opportunity. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of invitation. This is something going to make you happy. Very high vibrational, the start of something new. Yeah, some of you are releasing, uh, letting someone go for someone new. You're no longer interested. So I do see uh, worth and value. This person's really curious about you. Even if you know them and there's been time in between or something's happened here, there's definitely been some kind of turmoil. But I'm going to tell you, I feel like it's someone who just comes in kind of when they want attention. And that's, I feel, the person who might try to come back around. But it's an energy of that cycles over. It's getting off that emotional roller coaster. If you've had something on and off, that's where I feel this is an energy of breaking free. But you have a person who's deep in their emotions. They can't stop thinking. They want to know more. Yeah, you know, look at that. Very curious. See, we have an empress, the start of something new. It's someone who sees someone who knows their worth and value. I see respect and self-respect. Whoever this is, they'll they'll approach approach you. Okay. Now, if you've been out socializing with this person and happen to have a conversation, they're liking what they see, and they're becoming more and more curious. This is something worth going after, but they do see the risk that you might actually have other options. They don't know. This is the things that they want to know. <laughs> they're probably just gonna ask you. <laughs> Tell me about that because they don't know. It's the mystery. See, if there's a mystery, there's things that they don't know. The mystery of the Empress. Yeah, but look at the curiosity. Oh, yeah. This this is a, whether someone's actually in a relationship or not, but it's morals, values, the way someone conducts themselves, self-respect, self-worth. Beautiful. So out of respect, this person will, they're going to approach you in the right way. Okay, that's the thing. But they know, like I say, they know there's a risk that you might actually even be seeing someone else. They don't know. So pretty cool energy, though. I like the the star because it's whether it's mutual. So there could be some mutual friends or something going on, too. But I would be really cautious of someone who comes back around that did you wrong before and kept secrets and didn't tell you, you they were in a relationship. Whatever it is, I feel the feminine here is let it go. But it's self-worth, respect and self-respect, loving yourself first. So, yeah. Tell me about this King of Cups. What is this King of Cups up to? Whoops. King of Cups. Someone's on that spiritual journey, but they're looking for clues. Like they're curious. They're looking for more. There's things they can't see. So I don't know if they're checking you out online or, or what they're up to. Yeah, so someone who feels very lonely, feeling lack and lonely. Um, mm -hmm. So it's a little bit of negative energy here. Yeah, I feel like you've got someone who's ghosted you, igno ignored you. Someone here has done this. I, don't, I feel like you, you're open to this new. Uh huh. And I think someone's looking to see too, and they're, you know, they probably know. 
that you're ready to, you're open to something new. But it has to do with morals, values, lifestyle. Okay, so it's, it's, def, it's definitely there's a person here who's super, super curious. They don't know. Yeah, they want this to go in their favor. Look at that windfall of abundance. Someone sees you in a favorable light. That absolutely sees you in a favorable light. Yeah, this is someone who's seeing, seeing that. Yeah, this is where, see, looking at that, looking for clarity and going, aha. See, morals, values, the way you conduct yourself. Now, if there is someone here you have a history of, if you have someone who has a history of third parties, uh, uh, you know, where someone's ghosted you, ignored you for someone else, that person's thinking about you as well. But I, I feel like it's just an energy of breaking free from that, that cycle, something that's been on and off. And it's about someone who keeps doing the same thing over and over again. So I feel for yourself here, for the feminine, you're open to this new. I do see someone seeing truth, see, manifesting, both of you, mirroring. Yeah, you've got a couple things happening. I wonder if this other person will even bother reaching out. I almost feel like it's like they, I feel like you're just chilling out. I feel like you're just in a happy place. You're looking out for yourself, I feel. But it's open to new and manifesting. There's going to be communication. But somebody here is, is uh, like I say, watch out for one. One of these people is going to be a bit of a manipulator. Okay. And I feel like you've already let them go because I feel like you're already making this connection. Yeah, look at that. House, a home, a reason to celebrate. I see so much happiness. I see an invitation. Beautiful. Yeah, someone who's confident too. You got a person who's confident. Beautiful. Yeah, you got someone here who's just not right for you. And that's where it could even be yourself in hermit mode looking at this. With someone here that you have that's on and off, you might have this realization they're actually just not right for you. It's about who's right for you. And if it's not you, it's this person. Yeah, beautiful energy though, because I feel like you're going to connect. I feel like you're going to have a conversation with someone. They're going to ask you out, take you out for a nice dinner, I feel, you know, or you're going to meet someplace. But they do know there's a risk. They, they, do, they are a risk taker and they also know that there's a risk that you might have other options too so but they are a risk taker they are absolutely a risk taker <laughs> oh yeah this is someone who's been keeping feelings to themselves but you can see one of these people has a lot of negative energy they have a pattern a habit of, you know they come they rush in and then they ghost somebody and then they come back around and do the same thing this is the person i feel that you're not going to deal with because you're manifesting new. You have everything you need to manifest your desires. And there's another person here who sees you as someone who's just right. And they will come in right too. So really, really nice energy. This is just one of those energies where it's like a closing out. You know, it's where something is coming to, um, you know, to the point where... Um, confusion illusion if, if there's someone here who always does that and you feel can you they always leave you confused this is what why i feel like you're open to new i don't think you're going to you know it's a taking lessons learned not to repeat mistakes of the past the cycle's over so but that other person up here the original person that's the one who's definitely yeah the spark the attraction the passion in the beginning i wouldn't be surprised if you actually know who they are though uh, where it's somebody who's been holding a torch. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yeah, see, you can see there's someone here who's not right for you. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands. One of these people is very positive, high vibrational. They're confident. They're mature. Where the other person is someone who comes back in and then pushes you away. So that that's the Seven of Wands energy. Someone who's critical, judgmental. They just push you away. So, yeah, you're going to, I don't think you're going to deal with them. In fact, I, I, I feel like, um, you might even block this person or this person blocked you because they didn't get what they wanted, but you, what you're doing, what you have is this other person here who I feel is, uh, it's someone holding a torch. I mean, so I say there's going to be communication. It's going to come in out of the blue. I see multiple opportunities. Yeah. You likely won't see it coming. Okay, it's a life path choice decision. So, you know, take off the rose-colored glasses, it's saying, and see. 
and see, see the truth. One of these people will do the same thing over. The other person, you're not going to see it coming. And this is where you get this opportunity to break free from this. Yeah, you're going down a path with someone who's more compatible. Someone who wants to collaborate. See, it's an energy of three. Collaborating. And I do think this other, the positive energy of this person, this opportunity and invitation is somebody who uh, I feel is ready to go down this path. They see what you bring to the table, you know, what they can see because they're still curious. You're a bit of a mystery. So they're, and not only is this person like ridiculously curious, they're not going to be able to help themselves. Once this person holds, gets a hold of you, they'll never let go. But one of these people, you know, you're going to feel like you need to protect yourself from them. Okay. And you're not going to budge or give in to one of these people. I, I really feel like it. Yeah, it's done. See, it's done. It's finished. This is somebody I feel who's in denial, uh, not realizing that it's done. It's finished. Yeah, it's it's done. Yeah, you're there it is. This is that choice, life path choice. See, you've got better choices. You're going down a whole different path. Beautiful energy. Yeah, see, the Empress knows. The Empress knows you're trusting your intuition, your inner knowing. You already know. You, the, you already have the answers within yourself that there's somebody here who involved you in a third party, okay? Or what you didn't know then, you will know now <laughs> because you're becoming the Empress. You're mastering the elements of the Queens. And this is where, this is an energy, I'm surprised the Hierophant's not here with a bit of a test because I feel like you're going to have to be really confident, strong, and not to give in to that person. Taking back your power, see? But this other person who's coming in, I feel this is someone who's, you know, somebody who, if it is someone you've already known before and they're holding a torch, it does look like it. That person is someone taking another look. So it's possible they were dealing with some kind of ending. There was a lot of negativity, but whoever, both of these people are both thinking about you. One of them is deeply emotional. They are mature where the other person is not. Okay. They just kind of, like I say, it's a person who rushes in. And then they, if they get what they want, they might come back again after a period of time. So this is where I feel self-worth, self-respect. Yeah, someone actually sees you this way too, and I like this. They're swooping right in. The person who's going to swoop in here, they're the one who's going to take this risk. Yeah, they want to build with you. This is someone who wants to build. They might call you, communicate if you know who they are. Yeah, if we see a single person, someone who works, takes care of themselves. Mm -hmm. They see how you conduct yourself. This is someone actually trying to make sure you're single too. Because I feel this is someone who doesn't really know for sure. Yeah. The person who's curious. The person who, oh yeah, they're full of, look at that passion, element of wands. Oh yeah, the fire breathing dragon. This person's going for it. They're not going to let somebody else come in. And it's possible you're all in a community or social circle in some way, but... I feel for most of you, it's just this person's energy. Yeah, you've got a, like I say, it's a new crush, someone who's curious. You know, they're coming in. Now, this could be somebody who, who actually could be freaking out and getting angry because you have someone new. But I don't think you're going to go for that person. I really, I, I like I say, protective mode. You're not going to budge or give in. I feel like you have all the, you have all the tools, the strength. Okay, to manifest your desires, you have a new crush, somebody who's kind and compassionate. Somebody here is going to maybe give you a little gift. Yeah, see, there is other people, some kind of gathering. See, there's someone here new at a gathering, at a place you're going to connect with. So it's just being in the right place at the right time. And it could be somebody trying to be curious at where you go, where you socialize too, so they can just kind of be there. But look at positive news. Uh, friends yeah there is an energy of friends of a friend here because i'm seeing that two of cups twice but one of these people i feel is somebody who kept secrets they uh, they obviously had other options and i feel like you know so your intuition is going to be very strong right now and very powerful it's going to tell you to not give in to this person do not indulge that person who puts you in a third party okay or that person who um, did the same thing several times where it was on and off because I feel like you're heading down a new path. I feel like it's yourself in this hermit mode, just chilling out. 
looking, you know, into the past. See, it's like you probably know. And I'm going to tell you, there is, it looks like two past people, but this is somebody in your social circle, friends, maybe when you were young or you went to school together. I see someone crushing, giving you a gift. I think you've got a person who's been holding a torch for a long time. Okay. But I feel all this in between time, there's been this other person. And I do feel this is someone who's, I don't know if they'll actually come in. Because I think this person knows, uh, you took your power back from this person, I feel, already. So I think this person already knows you are in control of your own life. Okay, the feminine is the one in control here. But what I find so interesting is you're going to let this other person take the lead. You're not going to budge or give in with them either. Yeah, you know, look at that opportunity, possibilities, fantasizing, romanticizing here. See, there's someone here, neither one of these people know if you have other options. Okay. I don't think you're going to say anything because you know your worth. You're, like I say, self-respect. You're, you're not budging or giving in to somebody. You want to have those conversations. So I feel it's going to be a kind of friends first. But I actually feel this is someone in your social circle. Some of you got a person who's been holding a torch for a long time. See, intuition is strong. And I do feel like you have a really strong connection. Okay. But it's going to take a lot of your inner strength. And what's so interesting, the person who comes in is confident. This per other person lacked confidence. Okay, They're very negative. They don't come in confident. So that's why I feel the same thing will keep happening. I feel there's a person who just feels like you're out of their league. And this is the thing. Because look at the, this empress. This is often people who see that it's too good to be true. They're out of my league, so they come in with that. But I feel they'll just do the same thing again. Yeah, you got multiple opportunities, but you have a person who's in a hurry. And I do see some of you been there, done that with someone. You're not going to go there again. But the other person, I feel, is going to communicate. They're high vibrational. They're positive. Now, they're manifesting. I feel like you're going to have a lot of communication. And you're going to, I think you're going to say yes to this person. Because you're done with this cycle. So some of you have just had situations, like I do see some of you have been hurt a few times here. You know, there could even be more than two people here that I, you know, that are thinking about you now. It's really interesting. And it could be just like the, uh, that time in your life, the crossroads, where people are starting to think about relationships, commitment. But you see, there it is, confusion, illusion. This person's delusional if they think, if they think that you're going to take them back. Yeah, no. So someone here, see, it has to do with either yourself reflecting on it or this person. See, you got a person who's going to take a risk here. Yeah, see, leaving an unhealthy situation behind the devil. Someone's obsessed with you. Like, I feel they're both obsessed. But one of these people has a more positive energy. They're happy. They're high vibrational. They come in right. One of them doesn't come in right. And, they, and it's someone who's likely you've had an on and off with some of you. Yeah, it's finished. The straw that broke the camel's back. See, I feel it's already done. It's finished. You see, it's done. And, and it's an energy of healing. You and this other person have maybe both dealt, dealt with something here. It's, all like, it, it's like your paths are going to cross. And the timing's going to be right. So it's like the stars are aligning. You're in alignment with this one person, but you're not in alignment with the other person. Their morals, values, lifestyle, the way they behave. Yeah, see, someone here is definitely um, someone who's just right. See, it's where you know. There's a lack of compatibility, a lack of things in common. They don't cooperate, compromise. Someone's stubborn, stuck, selfish, and they won't budge. They're, they'll act exactly like they were. But this other person, they're, they're going to come in right. And the, the interesting thing with them is they will protect you. They won't let this other person get close to you, put it that way. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, see? Both are stable. Both of them are financially stable, you know, but it's an energy of feeling like home. One of these people is going to feel like home. And I think you're going to talk and get along, and it's going to be just very relaxed, very easy. That's a six of cups when it's easy. You see, this isn't easy. This was complicated. See the drama, but it has to do with action here. Yeah. 
You're about to get your cup filled. See, this is the person that, the one that I said has left something behind that wasn't emotionally fulfilling. They've been searching, searching for the one, the right person, someone who's compatible, and they haven't had a lot of luck. But they're also someone who doesn't settle. They won't, they don't give in until they find that right person. So, yeah. See, I feel the search is over. This is the energy of both people searching for the right person. See, both of you, you both left something behind that wasn't emotionally fulfilling. So the search is over. Look at that, Ten of Cups. You're going to... You're getting the cup. You and this other person, you're going to... I see happiness, happy home, happy life, and connecting with them. So look at that. Beautiful, high vibrational, positive energy. Just crazy. But yeah, all this... It's this... This is the energy here. Now, it could be yourself reflecting on the past, where you've been and where you're now going. But I, I really feel all individuals in here are kind of in that same energy because it's the overall energy. Yeah, there's been an unhealthy relationship here. Somebody, like literally, you know, like like I say, it's just somebody who has a habit, a pattern. I, I don't think they're faithful. Uh, I think this is somebody who... Um, doesn't follow society's rules in any way. They just do as they please. And that's the person I feel who will never budge and give in. So it's like they're opposite. Yeah, see, there was a lot of heartache, third party. They'll never be faithful. But you actually have someone who's been holding a torch. Yeah, see, multiple opportunities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, leaving it behind, manifesting. See, you have the tools. You've mastered the elements of the queens. So now you know. Your intuition is powerful. You're the one who's actually in control. But what's so interesting is you're going to let this other person think they're in control, the positive one. <laughs> you're going to let them take the lead. You're not going to give in till they, they have to come in right. This is the thing. Because I feel this is the issue. Maybe some of you have learned those lessons. If they don't come in right, how it starts is how it ends, basically, you know. So this is why I feel some of you have really mastered that. But you and this other person are both mastering the elements. See, both of you have ended something with a person where it's not no longer emotionally fulfilling. It's done. There's been a lot of hurt and heartache, and now it's an energy of moving towards. You could end up in a commitment with this person. Uh, like I say, I see two people who are very happy, high vibrational, coming together. You're in alignment. The stars are aligned for you and this person. But the other situation is just, it just isn't meant to be. And I feel that's what where you're going to have that moment where you realize it just, this person's just not right. The other person it is, it's meant to be. Yeah, why? Because they're going to show you they're invested. So I do feel being patient, okay, not budging or giving in, even if you feel lonely, no matter what, don't give in to that person who did you wrong, especially if they fool me once, twice, or three times kind of energy, okay? Because you got better things happening. Very positive. Yeah, it could be a little emotionally overwhelming, like it could be moving a little fast, but because they are somebody who moves fast. And I do see Aries, Leo, Sag energy. So it's just their energy, right? And I do see some Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here too. So yeah, somebody who comes in right. So it's a little bit of a test, right? But it's somebody who's calm. They have a very good temperament. The other person actually has a temper. This is the thing. And this is the things you're going to see. You're just going to be patient, but it's something that's worth investing in, kind of checking out. I think you're just going to look to see how it all plays out. See, this is how they see you, somebody with good morals, values, a good temperament, somebody who's calm. And I also see the energy of balance and balancing head and heart here. Yeah, you're in alignment with this other person. But like I say, there's always a risk in love, okay? Always a risk. But this other person's taking the risk. You're not, you're not going to be the one to, um, I mean, there's all, there's always a little bit of a risk regardless, you know, with anyone, but you're not going to be the one who's going to take that, make the move. It's going to be this person. They're holding a torch and there is an attraction here. So, and if it isn't someone holding a torch, it's just a crush where somebody feels that spark and they feel really enthusiastic. But it's interesting because the interesting part about this is both of these people are similar. 
they have the similar energy so it's definitely someone who's your type you know where there's an attraction you see but it, sometimes you could have someone who's your type um, and there's a lack of chemistry or uh, there's something you can't put your finger on that just feels off okay and one of these people like i say it's just it's going to be lovely yeah yeah very very nice yeah the person who comes in fast mm -hmm. but one of these people is somebody who will do the same as they did before they'll come in fast and strong if you give them what they want they'll change their mind so like i say you want the person who's I, I feel willing to maybe be friends first. I think there is friends of a friend, some of you. You're all, and it could, you could have someone checking you out online dating or social media too. You know, they're, they're in a hurry. And there's someone who he won't let you get away. Once they, once this person gets, you know, a hold of you, they're not going to want to let go. So that's what I like about it. And I do think you're going to weigh the pros and the cons. Yeah, you're going to compare them. I'm telling you, they're very similar. And I've seen this in other readings. So they're your type, if you have a type. But there's something that's a little off with one of these people. And that's the one, okay? Now, whether it's an ex or not, or just someone around you, it's likely play out different. But you're going to know. They're going to be high vibrational. They're going to be happy positive they're going to be easy to be around it's going to be very relaxed you're going to, it's going to feel like home you can just be yourself you'll feel safe with them too where the other person you're going to have that energy where you just won't feel safe i feel it's something that's already happened and I, it's more than likely just the things that you're looking at but see there it is happiness happiness and joy yeah this could go to the next level too so this is a life path choice decision. Yeah, somebody with fiery energy. This person's definitely taking action. They're, they're a risk taker. They can handle it. They're strong. They're confident too. That's what you're going to look for. When someone's confident and they know what they want and they come in, in that energy with a really positive, really easy to get along with person too. Yeah, the lover. See, this is your choices in love. You and this person have likely ended something. You're going to have some things to talk about, things in common. So, but yeah, one of these situations isn't going anywhere. It's over. I feel if this other person wants to come in there, it's almost like they're delusional where they just kind of, they're obsessed with you and they don't, they don't want to, I think, face the fact that it's actually done, that you have someone new. And maybe that's just what's happening. You could have people telling you this too, but it's done. Okay. Yeah, you've got something better. Take care. I wish you the best in this journey and we'll see you soon.